don't know why I feel so stiff in front of the camera like I've done this before but I feel like this is the first time I've filmed a video ever and like, I think I keep looking at the viewfinder thinking oh my god I look weird what's going on what's going on but you know what can you do hi guys welcome back to my channel I am been gone for such a long time like I've actually been so busy like I haven't had time to like focus on my YouTube channel I know my consistency has been very poor I have to admit but with university schoolwork life family friends just everything's just like so much to deal with and just like focus on a lot of things but I will be trying to be more consistent with my uploads. I did a skincare video in, I'd say about June, July time. Um, yeah, so around June, July time. But ever since then, I've revised my skincare routine. I found new products and I've had some problem areas on my skin that I have to deal with. And even though on camera, it looks like my skin has got like hardly any blemishes, but in real life, I feel like there's areas that I still wanna work on. So. As you know, with a lot of darker skin people and just, I'd say, black people in general, um, we deal with hyperpigmentation a lot. So for, for my skin, the issues are around my mouth and then um, also under my eyes as well. I've got quite dark circles, but I'm not too sure if that's just due to pigmentation or just lack of sleep or whatever it is. But I'm just trying to like work on that and get through that process of just making my skin better. Yeah, sorry about rambling. Let's get on to the skincare portion for those of you who came for that. Um, so first of all, um, what I realized after my first skincare routine was that um, I was using quite a few products when I didn't need to because my skin, it's not sensitive. I'd say my skin type is, I'd say normal to oily. First of all, it's important to know your skin type. So are you normal? Are you dry? Are you combination skin? Are you oily? And just like from then on, that's how you'll be able to understand what to tackle and what to use for those specific areas. Um, so we're gonna start off with the products that I use. And for washing my face, um, I use the TB Touch Beauty facial brush. Um, to help with the cleansing process of my skin and the exfoliating process and you can get um, quite a few versions of this online um, I believe there's one that everyone on YouTube uses a Vanity Planet one which um, I believe is £35 and then you can get um, the Clarisonic one which is like £150 but then I got my one from Amazon for I believe it was £15 and I believe it does the same job and I want to try out the other ones and see like the difference and stuff but um i think with regards to face brushes um just find ones that literally do the job like you don't have to spend excessive amounts of money it's felt like if i just get like a medium range like price like it should work pretty well and it comes with three brush heads it comes with this daily um daily cleansing brush um, it comes with an exfoliator head and it comes with a soft like um, massage one. I use the Touch Beauty. I go in with just a simple bar of like soap and literally it's the simple soap. And my mum um, really put me on this one. Like she, like she just explained to me that sometimes you just need to like not strip your skin so it's bare but strip your skin so you can start fresh. So the reason why I like using the simple soap um, to wash my face at the beginning is because I feel like simple does a really good job of stripping your skin of dirt and grime, but it still leaves you with moisture. The next step I like to do is I like to um, use a facial scrub. Um, this is once every two days. And I use these two products. The ones I use is the Clinique 7 Day Skin Scrub Rinse Off Formula. When I alternate, I then like to use Body Shop Vitamin C Daily Cleansing Polish. And, um, alternate between two types of scrubs. One that gives you a deeper lean, especially since the other one I'd say use that more frequently. Now onto the cleansing portion, which is one of my favorites because I like a good tingly feeling and one of the products here gives you that feeling. The second exfoliator like cleanser thing that I use um, is from Nip and Fab and it's the Glycolic Cleansing Fix. This, this one is similar to the second product I'm about to show you in that it kind of does the same thing but it's not as intense. But this one helps to uh, gently exfoliate and retexture skin. 
clears and purifies pores. The second product is the Mario Badescu Skincare um, Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. So it's very similar to this one, but this one's a lot thicker. Moving on to step four of the skincare process. With regards to my T-zone area, again, like I stated before, sometimes it gets a bit oily here and oily around here. So um, one of the masks that I like to use is, is the Body Shop Seaweed Oil Balancing Clay Mask. Mask neutre te equilibrante à la lagre. Sorry, I can't speak French. And I think and no matter what your skin crop, um, issue is, I think a good clay mask really does help to tackle that. And then secondly, I like to use the Nip and Fab Glycolic Instant Fix Mask. And um, this mask really helps with um, tightening your pores. It makes your skin look much more plump and it's very, very gentle on the skin, um, even though it does use glycolic acid. And this is a really good mask. Yeah, it's a really good mask and it was rather cheap as well, I put the price here. The last face mask that I have to show you guys is um, by Formula 1006 and it is the Get Your Own Glow Brightening Peel Off Mask, Papaya and Citrus. And this one I found on ASOS actually. Um, a lot of the products here you'll be able to find on ASOS um, and on Beauty Bay and Body Shop Online, which is literally where I got everything, those three sites. This is like a peel off mask. Like I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the black face mask that everyone's putting on their skin. I like to use that, but obviously on your face you have hairs already on there. Like that's what kind of helps our makeup stick to our face and things like that. But I find that the black one really kind of, it's very, very painful to take off. So, so if your face does not agree with having the black mask all over it, I'd really advise taking on um, the chance of using the brightening peel off mask from Formula 1006 to so just tighten the face and it makes you feel a lot more rejuvenated. And um, I think this would be a very, very good option over the black peel off mask. Okay. One of the last steps is to use a toner. And I never used to understand the need to use a toner until I started seeing my hyperpigmentation really, really flaring up. And the, one of the toners that um, I use now is one that I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen again, and that is the Mario Badescu Skincare Glycolic Acid Toner. Now, this one I use basically every single day. Okay, so it helps to target the areas um, that you have problems with the most. And I believe this was 15 pounds. 15 pounds if I'm sure, 15 pounds. But it, you have to make sure that you use sunscreen. And um, one other thing is, I didn't realize that sunscreen was necessary. I thought if I'm going on a holiday, then I'll buy sunscreen. But the UV rays are real, people. UV rays are real and they are attacking us every single day. So you have to get a moisturizer that does have a good SPF in it. And it does help that foundations have a good SPF in it, but you can't wear a foundation every single day. And lastly, it's the moisturizing step after all this long skincare. And I like to use this new product which I found which is really, really helping with um, the issues of darkness on my face. And it's from the company called The Ordinary and it's the Lactic Acid 10% HA2%. It's a high strengthening lactic acid superficial peeling formula. And I like to use this in conjunction with my vitamin C glow boosting moisturizer. So these two work very, 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 very well together. And they help to just like make my skin look bright and awake, even if I haven't had that much sleep. So I think it will be a good investment to try and use the two of these in conjunction together. And this was literally only five pounds from ASOS, five pounds and it's working so well. But this a bit more pricey, I think it's upwards of 15 pounds but it's worth it. The tub is very thick. It does go in quite deep. And yeah, that is my skincare. Those are all the products I use. So it's either I'll alternate between night and day or issue to issue. I think it's important to just find what works best for you. And if you think you need to do something different, then do something different, guys. But yeah, that is my skincare for you. Those are all the products I use, guys. I mean, sometimes, some people it might be a lot. Some people it's just soap and water, but some of us gotta get down to it. Like, I gotta use face masks. Can't lie. Needed, is needed. 
So, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. And I'm so sorry that um, I've been so busy and unable to film a video, but I'm back now, I'm back and I'm better. So watch out for the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you want me to do, what you want to see, everything. I will be doing that. Check it out. Soon come. Peace.